everyone, I'm back again with a post-sac anime vlog. I know I didn't really film a pre-sac anime vlog after the last one I posted, but that's because I was busy with getting stuff done and all that. I did make a video before sac anime, but it didn't have to do with the convention. It's just an unboxing video that I will post sometime later. But I want to get this done and up right now because... You know, while the convention is still fresh in my mind, I want to talk about it because it was one of my favorite SAC animes as of now. It's It was one of the best for me, and I just had a lot, a lot of fun. And I will start with, you know, going from Friday to the last day. I did not go Thursday because I was just way too busy getting stuff packed and everything. And I still had stuff to finish up, so I did not go Thursday. I went Friday with friends. And so, yeah, Friday, it was a great day. I did my Zootopia group, and it was me as Judy, my friends as Nick, Clawhauser, and Flash, and everyone liked us, and it was a lot of fun. We did a shoot, and the photos turned out really good, too, and I loved seeing those, and we had a lot of fun at the Disney gathering as well, and it was just so much fun. Then after that, I changed into Uryu from Bleach for Derek Stephen Prince's panel, and oh my god, that was the first major highlight for me, because it's an 18 plus panel, and he basically had us ask one of his characters an 18 plus question, and of course, since I was dressed as Uryu, and of course, my favorite role of his is definitely Uryu, I did ask him a question as Uryu, and when he saw me, he just went, oh my god, and it was the best experience, and I just, oh my god, I, I was dying, because he was, like, freaking out, because I was Uryu, and then he got really close to me, and I'm, like, just standing there, like, dying on the inside, and of course he noticed that, because he pointed out that I was kind of shaking, but, like, it just made me die even more, and... My brain just melted after that, so I don't quite remember his exact words after that, because my brain was busy melting at the moment. But I did ask my question, and my question was, what's Uryu's favorite position with Ichigo? Because I am a huge Uryu Ichigo shipper. You can hate me if you want, I don't care. But his answer was hilarious. He, sa he said basically he wants Ichigo to kneel, and then he would shove an arrow down his throat. I don't know if that was an innuendo or not, but I like to think it would be. But, I mean, obviously Uryu would do that to Ichigo. But still, it was just, oh my god, that panel was so much fun, and I'm glad I went. Because it was a last minute decision, kind of, for me, because I was going to try and get his autograph on Saturday. That would have been way too much for me to do because I already was going to get Chris's autograph on Saturday, and I was also going to do another cosplay that day. So I did not want to do three costumes on Saturday, which is why I decided to instead go to Derek's panel Friday night and wear Uryu then, then I get that done and out of the way. And plus, you know, I, I didn't really have anything for Derek to sign, although I'm sure he had stuff that he could sign right there. But I decided to just go to his panel instead, and I'm so glad I did because, oh my god, like I said, it was amazing, and I died after that panel. It was just, I was so glad I went. Okay, so, after that, I went to the AMV contest with my friends because one of them submitted a video for it, and it was really good. I loved the video she submitted, and it was great. I don't know who the winners are right now because I haven't checked. They did post them, I think, but I didn't quite check who won. But the AMV contest, I forgot how long it went. Actually, I don't think I've ever been to the SAC anime ones. I've been to one of the Fanime ones. I think they had the Fanime AMV contest when they did the Masquerade one time. I don't know. It was a while ago. I don't remember, but... The SAC Anime AMV contest goes on forever, it seems. I think it was like two hours or so. Because afterwards, when it was done, it was like 11 something p.m. And I'm like, holy crap, what year is it? But yeah, so the AMV contest, it was fun, but long. I don't know if I'll go again unless she submits a video for the next one. And if I'm not busy, then maybe. But 
it was fun to watch all the videos and like kind of relax after Derek's panel and after me exploding and just dying. It was nice to just kind of relax after that. And then that ends Friday. Saturday, I was Chuya from Bungo for the first half. I took pictures of the Black Butler gathering because, as you guys know, that, that um, series is still kind of special to me. I'm not into it as much as I used to be. I admit that. But I do still love Black Butler. I still consider myself a fan, even though I haven't really been part of the fandom lately. However, I do hope to cosplay Soma for Sack Winter. So I guess you could say I'm finally kind of slowly working back into the fandom. And it doesn't seem as crazy as it used to be. It does still seem fun though, and I do kind of want to get back into it. So hopefully I can get Soma done by then. My main problem right now is finding the right wig for him. Because I'm just, like, I find all these, you know, I have options, but like, for him, I just want it... It's just because the color of his hair, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to describe, but I just hope I can find a wig for Soma in time. Anyway, so I took photos of the Black Butler gathering and everything. Then after that, I'm trying to remember exactly what I did. I think I just probably wandered around a bit, went into vendor's hall and stuff. Then later, I went to the Sheridan bar to, you know, get wine as Chuya because that's something I wanted to do. When I was Chuya, so I just went to the Sheridan bar and got some wine and just chilled. And it was so nice, and it was a relaxing moment, you know, just being Chuya with wine. And then these Bungo cosplayers walked by, and they're like, Oh, look, Chuya's at the bar drinking his wine. And I'm like, well, yeah, what else would he be doing? And then, like, the lady, like, she, there was this woman that was, you know, sitting at the bar as well. I think she was cosplaying... The one character from Full Metal Panic. I can't remember her name because I've only watched an episode of it. But I do want to finish watching it though. But she looked at me and she's like, oh my god, I just realized who you're cosplaying. I'm like... So she took a picture of me and I held the wine in the picture because that's Chuya. And then that was fun and everything. And then later I went to my hotel room to just rehydrate after drinking wine and charge up my phone and stuff. Then later, I changed into Giro to get Chris Sabat's autograph. And, stupid me, I did not realize that the premium autograph lines were different from the free autograph lines in that you can line up whenever for the premium as opposed to the free autographs because they only let you line up 30 minutes prior for the free autographs, but for the premium, just, it's whatever. But I was lucky because... By the time I got into the line after me, they cut off the line, which means they capped it after me, meaning no one else after me could line up. I was so thankful that I made it when I did, because if not, I probably would not have made it. So I'm just so glad I was able to get his autograph, and he was like, hey, it's Gero, when he saw me, and I'm like, ah, yay, and that was great. So now I have his autograph, and I will show that. Actually, I can show it right now, since I I had him sign this, which Todd signed back, I think it was Sack Winner. Yeah, Sack Winner, Todd signed it, and he signed it right underneath Todd's. I, I know Todd took up all the room, but whatever. I don't know if you can see, but basically, Todd says, Pekopon will be mine, and then Chris put, or mine, because Giro. So yeah, they just, they want to take over. So that's Chris's autograph in there. So now I have his and Todd's. I'll probably have the rest of them sign it when I can, whenever they're at a convention and I meet them. Anyways, so after that, I went to the Masquerade to watch the remainder of it. I'm sad I missed my friend's Disney Princess gender band group because I wanted to see them so bad, but I missed it, sadly. But they did win an award, and I'm so happy for them that they won an award and everything, and I congratulate them for that. And so yeah, after the masquerade, I don't think I did much. Oh, after the masquerade, I went back to my hotel and I decided I'm just going to throw Reno on because, I mean, I liked wearing Gero, but it was mainly just for Chris and I kind of wanted to change into something else. So I decided to just put Reno on because, you know, Reno's super easy to wear and everything and I just wanted to wear Reno. So I put Reno on and then I just walked around a bit. And then I hung out with a friend that night. We grabbed dinner and just wandered around the place. And we kept getting lost because he wanted to meet up with his friends and stuff. But he kept getting lost. And I'm like, just standing there like, okay. 
but it was fun and that was that for Saturday then Sunday of course I was Reno again for the Final Fantasy gathering it was fun but it was short and there weren't as many people there as I thought there would be I thought there's gonna be more but you know Still was fun. I was the only Reno, which was another shocker to me because Quentin Flynn was a guest and I thought there'd be more Renos and more Axles, but I only saw like one or two Axles the whole con. And I didn't see any other Renos except me. I don't know. Maybe it was too warm for them? Anyway, so the Final Fantasy Gathering was fun. It was quite short, but that's okay. And then after that, I went to go meet Quentin Flynn and... It was so exciting, and I was so happy to finally meet him, and I got a selfie with him, and it was so great. And I had him sign my Timon and Pumbaa VHS, because he did the voice of Timon for, like, a season or two in the series. And he was excited to see this, too. He was like, wow, that's a classic, and I said I had it forever. And he signed it. Then after that was, he had a panel at, like, 3 o'clock or 3.30. So I went to that panel, and... We were able to ask him questions, of course, and the person before me asked who, like, if he didn't voice Axel in Kingdom Hearts, who else would he voice? Of course, he said he voiced Timon because he did him in the series. And then, after that, he said, you know, someone brought the Timon and Pumbaa VHS for me to sign, and I said, that was me, and I was the next one in line to ask a question. So he said, I'm a magician, and it was so cool. I just, I felt special at that moment, because... You know, right then and there. It's like it's like he summoned me, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm glad that he was excited to see that and everything. And that he remembered. And then I asked my question, which was basically about the Final Fantasy VII remake. If he's going to be voicing Reno. And he has not been contacted yet about that. But hopefully, because he's the best Reno, obviously. Um, in my opinion, I haven't heard the Japanese voice for Reno, but I'm, I'm biased towards Quentin as Reno, because I love his voice so much. And plus, you know, he does Axel too, and I love Axel as well. Anyways, but yes, he doesn't know about that yet, but anyways, I'm pretty sure he'll return as Reno. Um, but that was that, and then, you know, I stayed for the remainder of the panel, and after that, I just basically went back home. And that was the end of my sack anime. I'm still sad it's over because it was such a good one for me. And it was amazing. I didn't really, like, buy that much. I bought, like, this um, Makoto keychain laminated thing. And I got another one like it. But it's in my bag for mink. It's right here. I got a mink one as well. It was... Pretty much, like, it was five of these for a dollar, but I couldn't find any others that I really wanted, so I just got... I'm sorry about that. I ran out of room, so I had to make more room, and then now we're continuing this. Okay, so I showed the Makoto and Mink keychains. I got those both for 50 cents total, because it was five for a dollar, and I could, couldn't find any more I really wanted, so I just got those two. Another thing I got, this is, like, the only other thing I really got at the convention... Because I didn't really see much I wanted. I mainly was looking for stuff for my Chuya bag. Um, I was looking at stuff in Artist Alley. But there was hardly any Bungo items in the Artist Alley. And I was kind of sad. But maybe Sack Winter I'll find stuff for my Chuya bag. We'll see. But yeah, I found something for my Mink one at least. But I did find... Um, I found what were the Final Fantasy blind bag keychains, you know, the chibi fight ones from World, of, um, from World of Final Fantasy. And they had this set that has Reno in it, so I'm like, ooh, do I risk it? Do I buy one and hope that it's Reno? Because the chances of getting Reno were, like, slim to none. And I'm like, well, I could risk it. Maybe I'll get him because he was only, what? Like, the keychains were only 10 apiece, and I've seen the Reno one online go for, like, 30, so I'm like, well, I could risk paying 10 and get him, possibly, or guarantee get him for 30. I took the risk, and I bought one for 10. Yes, I only bought one, but I thought, well, maybe if I have enough left and I don't get him the first time, maybe get another one, but I probably wasn't going to either way. But... I bought the one, and then, you know, I I paid for it, blah, blah, blah. I, you know, walked away after that, and then I started to get it open. It was kind of being a pain to open at first. But then, I finally got it open, 
And guess what? It was the Reno one. I saw the red hair at first and I just was like, oh my god. And then I pulled him out and there he was. I was so excited. I didn't want to like kind of make it obvious though, but still I was just majorly excited. But I'm sure some people saw like Reno opening a Reno keychain and being excited that it's him. I wish someone could have caught that on video because it would have been an amazing moment, but Oh well, but I just, I can't believe that it was Reno. And yes, he's on my prop that I use for Reno, the rod, I, whatever it's called. I just call it a rod. But yeah, I just, I decided to put him on there because why not? And I just walked around with pride after that. Just having my mini Reno on my rod. It was so amazing. And so yeah, I got that after meeting Quentin because I had some time in between that and his panel. So yeah, I just went to buy that, and I'm still excited that it's, you know, I got Reno out of all those, so I am so happy with that. Anyways, I just, I wish he had more merchandise, though. I do still need to get the Play Arts figure, and then I know there's a smaller one of him. And yeah, but I hope with the remake that they make more Reno merch. I really want a plush of him. I have my, um, handmade plush that I made of him. I was gonna make Quentin one, but I ran out of time, so maybe next time he's a guest at a convention I go to, I'll make him one. So, but isn't he adorable? Yes, I had fun making that, and I can always make Quentin one whenever. So anyways, that's all for this video. I miss Zach and I made so much, you guys don't even know. But yeah, that's it for now. I will see you guys later. Bye!